Now, our number one reason that you should come stay on The Muse, Silver Seas The Muse. Or with Silver Sea. Or with Silver Seas is the first class all the way super service. Right. Still? Still, how about you, sir? Uh, still spring. Very heavy drinker. Yeah. <laughs> Wood cord reserve. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, that's got some spice to it. I don't know what that is. It's like a jalapeno jelly. Oh, man. Okay, so we're on Silver Seas, Silver Muse. Yes. So we just wanted to tell you our top five reasons why you should stay on the Silver Muse and with Silver Seas. One thing that we'd like you to know is when you take an Alaskan cruise, um, most of the routes about the same. You might have a few different stops than other cruises, but they're pretty much all they're the same. Pretty much the same, and that's actually one of the first things to know. Is I was kind of like, well, I want to go see something different because we've done an Alaska cruise before. But then I started to realize that even the places we stopped only had maybe five thousand people, or three thousand people, or eight thousand people. So it's that's not before the ship holds pulls yeah. up. By the way, it doubles the ship's pulling that doubles. Yeah, but <laughs> but. That means that, you know, like, although some cruises may have a few different places to see, it's like there are only so many big towns in Alaska and the big towns are not big towns. So you're probably going to get about the same itinerary. I think this time we stopped in Sitka, which we hadn't done we before, before, which we saw amazing wildlife there. And it was a 
It felt very authentic town like people would live in, a little less, you know, driven by the tourism maybe than the others and, and well worth it. But I would say that that is a, uh, that, that when you're looking for an Alaska trip, you're probably going to be going to, you know, the typical places, you know, Anchorage, Juneau. Um, Hubbard's Glacier. Skagway, Hubbard's Glacier. Kitchikan. Yeah. 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 So that's, and the passage, of course, that we're going through now. Yeah. And ending up in Vancouver. It's a pretty typical thing. Now you can add a, uh, a, a land part of this, and we did that before, which is you fly into, we did, we flew into Fairway and then took the train down from Fairway to um, Anchorage, which was, and saw Denali in there, which was very, it was a great uh, piece of the trip, I would say, and a great addition if you're looking to really make the most of your Alaska trip. I would say add that part in for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then when you do do an Alaskan cruise, prepare for everything yeah. because we had rain. We have sun right now. It's it's, it's cold. cold. It's warm. It's, it's everything. And and the other the other thing I'd say about the rain is that expect rain. Like pack for rain because the the area when you get into Juneau down really all the way to Ketchikan all the way down. is part of the Tonga National Rainforest, which is the largest temperate rainforest in the world in the world and, and you're cruising all through it so yeah. it's gonna rain and what happens Lightning. in rainforest it rains it rains <laughs> and not just dress for it and be prepared and and know it's gonna be nice go with it roll yeah. with it that's all i gotta say is roll with it yeah. okay, now our number one reason that you should come stay on the muse silver seas the muse or with silver sea or with silver seas is the first class all the way super service right so the silver muse is actually a six star ship so ships have ratings usually from one star to six stars and on the six stars you hit the pinnacle the over the top which is one of the reasons i wanted to come to this ship and try it and we weren't disappointed as soon as we got here our very own butler greeted us um, asked us what we like to drink in the morning we told him cappuccinos and lattes and he's like should I make that a standing order for you daily? <laughs> and we're like, absolutely. So we woke up every morning to a knock on the door with Jorig bringing in our lattes and cappuccinos and looking at the um, beautiful Alaska scenery. Well, one thing, one thing also that amazed me is at the beginning of the cruise, he asked, well, what do you like to drink? Do you like red wine? Do you like white wine? I'm like, and Lisa, oh, red wine, right? So it's pretty easy. Lisa likes red wine. I'm like, I don't know. I like, kind of like bourbon. So, so then that day, that night, we get a bottle of red wine, and he brings out an entire bottle of bourbon. Yeah. So that's how that was pretty impressive. Yeah. So our number one reason to stay on the on Silver Seas is the amazing service. Amazing. Number two is the dining options. So the food here on the Silver Muse was just very exceptional, and. What I like about it is I'm not such a big fan of going on cruise ships where you have the one big dining room and, you know, 2,000 people are sitting down to dinner all at once. So they actually had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different dining options for a boat of only 600 people. So that'll tell you that none of the dining um, choices are very full. The food everywhere we went was really delightful is the word that just came to mind Bre breakfast lunch and dinner all yeah no matter where you meals. decided to go to but i do know and i think here. you might have already said that you have to make reservations to some of those other nicer restaurants um the the grill with, uh, with the hot rocks reservations uh silver note reservations do it way in advance because everyone wants to get in there we're hanging out here with three or four other couples and we were talking about silver note last night before we went and we're like, we're trying to get in there. Like, you'll never get in there. We're all trying to get in there. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> oh. And then we go to eat and they're like, oh, you can go to Silver Note. We're like. We snuck in through the back door, I think. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, but that is another tip, though. If you get here and you haven't been able to get the reservation that you want to, speak to both your butler and to the maitre d' of the place and see if they can get you in so that would be your uh, butler is it. your friend yeah your butler Use is him. your into a your lot inside of guy yeah. so he'll make sure and you know he'll give you inside tips and stuff too so that's our number two reason for the, um 
the dining options. The dining options yeah. on with silver tea and specifically on silver mm -hmm. news. Now, number three is the spacious room. I have never been on a cruise ship with a room as big as this one is, and this is their standard room. We didn't get an upgraded luxury yes. suite or anything like that. They're all suite. They're all balcony, which I think is important when you go to Alaska because, you know, you want to be able to look out of your window and look at the scenery. It's part of why you come here. And spend a little time in the, in the cabin. Yeah, and spend some time in the cabin. So the cabin, it had its own sitting area with a couch and a chair and a desk area. It also has the full-size king bed and two nightstands, which is full. And then this place had that big walk-in closet, which was really nice. <laughs> I've when never seen a walk-in closet on a ship before. No. And a tub. Oh, Lisa yeah. had a tub. I did. I took a bath <laughs> on a cruise ship. I didn't even know that was possible. And the tub was actually not just a five-foot little tub. I could have drowned myself in that thing pretty easily. Um, a real tub. A real tub. And the bathrooms were very, very spacious. Very spacious so well, yes. Our number three mm -hmm. reason Fabulous rooms. It's a fabulous rooms. Our number four reason for selling on the Silver Seas, Silver Muse, to be specific, is it's a small ship and there's not a lot of waiting and, and crowds and, and dealing with a lot of people. It's much quieter, much, much easier, I think. Yes, it's definitely a more relaxed cruise. So you've seen, and if you haven't, you can check it out. We've been on the biggest ship in the world, Wonder of the Seas. We've been on celebrity cruises and we've tried different types and I really wanted to have a small ship in Alaska because I didn't want to be in like a cattle call thing at these small ports and these small towns. And so that was the reason that we picked this. Now the Silver Muse only has 596 guests. So it's a, it's a pretty small ship compared to like, you know, Wonder of the Seas that we are on, which was 7,500 guests. So. <laughs> <laughs> means 10 percent yeah less less, less than 10 percent of the people that were on that other boat so it's definitely a more chilled laid back type of experience so but having said that that was exactly the reason that we picked this ship mm -hmm. because we wanted to have a small intimate ship and we've gotten to know quite a few people here yeah which is really fun it's i enjoyed really that great. one of my one of my top things is just to get to meet people and get to know people yeah Mm -hmm. so, so that's our number four, small ship. Small ship. So our number five reason is it's all inclusivity. Right. When you book this cruise line, you actually have everything's included. So like most cruise ships, all your food, but it also includes all your gratuities, all your drinks. I mean, and I do mean all your drinks, like they're, they're feeding you mimosas from as soon as you wake up in the morning <laughs> to, you know, all night long, everywhere you go, the casino, every show, every whatever, um, in your room, they'll stock your bar. So the drinks are all included, um, the food's all included, and your excursions are included. Now, having said that, there's always upgrades. So, you know, for example, you know, you can get, um, the bourbon you one of the bourbons you like is oh, no, they're buffalo all trace is included right so like buffalo trace is included now you can go up a step above buffalo trace and they'll have it here but you'd have to pay extra for it the wine's all included with dinner one red one white and they have a list of included wines now if you want to go above that then you can do that and you can pay more but um the quality of what they had for the wines and the whiskeys and everything i think were um, more than generous and more than adequate. Yeah, Talk fine. about the excursions a little bit because that's also, they have a list of probably at every port around 10 to 30 ex excursions that are included and they're pretty good. So some of the excursions that you saw us do on this video, like the dog sledding and the, the whale watching and the sea otter and all where we saw the brown bear eating the salmon and all that, all those excursions were included. Now we wanted to have a little bit of extra special fun and do some things that we couldn't do anywhere else. So we did the helicopter flight to the glacier um, and that was an extra charge and so well worth it. Like that was one of the best excursions we have ever been on. Yeah. Yeah. I would certainly say so. And it yeah. was well worth paying extra for. Yeah. yeah. But not to say that like Lisa was saying, that the paid for excursions are well worth what they are too. You do need tips for your excursion people. 
Yes. So when you go on sure. the excursions, Definitely. you yeah. have to tip them because they're not part of the Silver Sea Cruise. But number five. And they make their living out of tips. Yeah. Okay, good. That's number five.